not Chinese, I'm Korean. I'm not Korean, I'm Japanese. I'm not Japanese, I'm Vietnamese. I'm not Vietnamese, I'm Malaysian. I'm not Malaysian, I'm Argentinian. I'm not Mexican, I'm from Peru. I am from Bulgaria, not Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, Honduras, or El Salvador. No one. No one knows me here. They don't know if I'm shy <laughs> or if I'm funny or frightened. I can't reinvent myself right now if I want to. No one will know the difference. How many times do you get to do that in your life? Many students, both high school and college, have joined this class because they've seen other professional projects and performances of mine around the city. Here's this woman in a dress, crawling around on the floor, you know, handing off microphones to high school students and who are working with elementary school students, different races, different ages, and it was a really good thing that I saw, and I wanted to be part of that. For me, this is a good way of learning how to get ideas down onto paper in the form of creative writing and then from that staging it because I've never had that experience before and I also have never really had that much theater background theater experience so this was a, a really you know trial by fire of learning how to get something on to stage everyone can have a seat have a seat on the stage but let's sit in a circle so we can see everyone I'll do the lines with whomever is doing those particular lines. So, Tenzin, can we have the last lick of the chorus, please? What are we, why are we, where are we going? Why are we leaving? What are we doing? What are we, why are we, where are we going? Why are we leaving? What are we doing? When I was in my country, I'm very, like, I'm very easy to start and easy to happy. And I don't, if like a little bit thing, things happen, I always cry, cry. Now I, re I really don't cry that much, and I think I change. I don't know, do you have any suggestions? Of it's hard to write without fear. Sometimes you're afraid of how people are going to receive your work. It's just about acknowledging the fact that fear exists and then writing right through it. Courage is not the absence of fear. Fear what has to be there. In order, it's, it's the overcoming of fear. It's the confrontation of fear. Ah, so that's, that's like really good for us. Because just to confront them. Just conf to, instead of ignoring it right. and pretending that it doesn't exist. It's a question of focusing your energy on that. But it doesn't have to be immediate. Nobody should rush you or push you or make you feel like you yeah, this needs to happen now. You don't have to write it today or tomorrow. You take your time so it could be your story the way you want to tell it. Really it's about allowing them to tell their stories and engaging their experience. You know, we try to kind of begin the classes with fun exercises that can really get them involved, you know, that are really participatory. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really about allowing them to tell their stories. I think when you're performing, it's more like taking off a mask. Because when you're between people, your own, like between people and the, in general, you put on a mask to fit in, to be like them so that you're not an outcast. And in here, everybody's the same, but from different countries and everything, but we have the same ideas. So sharing them is like connecting with people and taking off the mask, getting out of the shell and just being yourself instead of hiding. <laughs>